Hey guys, Ryan here at Rode Microphones, and I'm very excited to show you the Rode Video Micro small form factor on camera microphone. The Video Micro is our latest addition to the Video Mic range at Rode, and it's designed primarily for on camera use and is a much smaller form factor than any of the other video mics that we've had in the past. It's made from machined aluminium and it's actually coated in a ceramic coating so that the finish that you have on the microphone is going to last for years and years and years without being scratched. The design of the Video Micro is a little different to most microphones that you would have seen before and that's due to this interference tube structure at the back of the microphone that's designed to give you a much more even frequency response with off-axis sounds. That's actually useful for attenuating sounds to the rear of where you're actually aiming your camera when you've got the microphone on camera and also to the sides. Now the Video Micro ships with an SC2 cable that goes directly into the back of the microphone in the 3.5mm jack and then plugs into the microphone input on your camera. It also ships with a Rycote Lyre shock mount and you'll notice that it's got a very thin single Lyre shock mount with a cold shoe mount on the bottom so that you can easily mount it onto your camera. Now the cold shoe mount also has a standard 3 8 thread so that you can mount it atop any kind of boom pole or microphone stand as well. Now to mount the actual microphone into the lyre, what you'll need to do is mount it by pressing it through the actual loop, the back of the microphone through the loop of the lyre until it locates itself in this nice little groove that you find here. And what that will actually do is perfectly balance the microphone on top of that lyre so that you're getting a really nice action of suspension mounting the microphone when you have any bumps. Now the Video Micro also ships with the WS9 furry windshield. And this windshield is designed for both indoor and outdoor use. So any time that you take a microphone outside and you've got a little bit of a breeze going on, what will happen is the wind will actually react with the microphone capsule and it'll sound like a big rumbling kind of sound. So to get rid of that, we supply it with the windshield that you just simply place over the microphone and again, it will locate itself in the little groove on the mic. I would always recommend to have the furry windshield on. That's because even when you're just moving around with the microphone, there's a small amount of air that will actually get through and affect the capsule. That's because it's such a sensitive capsule that it's designed to pick up even the smallest nuances in the sound, so it'll also be affected by wind. So anytime that you're using the video micro, make sure you have this WS9 attached to the microphone for the best possible sound. Setup on camera is very easy. The video micro has no battery, so it's always running as soon as it's plugged into the microphone input on your camera. But if you really want to use the sound quality of the video micro in the best possible way, go into the menu settings on your camera and turn off automatic gain control. And then set your level up so that the peaks of the metering are bouncing around the minus 12 to minus 6 dB mark on your actual meters. So that's towards the top without ever actually hitting the top and clipping your audio. And you'll also notice that the knurled ring that you tighten the cold shoe mount with has a bunch of little located grooves and these are designed so that you can clip the cable in and isolate the microphone from any possible noise from bumping the cable. So there you have it guys, that's the Video Micro. It can also be used off camera on the Video Micro boom pole or a microphone stand and we'll go through that in another video.